Well, speaking of the proud parents to be, come in, come thank in. Thank you, Mr. Babbitt. I'm happy to see you. Well, thank you, Granny. Congratulations. Allie Mae. We got your cradle all ready for you. Cradle? Yes, dear, this, this fine old cradle has been in the Clampett family for years. So they're going to let us use it. Jethro was the last baby in it. This here was his rattle. <laughs> hey, this is the cowbell we used to tie around his neck so he wouldn't get lost. When Jethro was a baby, he used to crawl off into the woods a lot, looking for food. <laughs> uh, well, Jethro was born with a full set of teeth there, just like a beaver. <laughs> well, I, I will just take this cradle out and put it in the car. I'll give you a hand. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Ellie, you go outside with the men folks. I want to have a little talk with Miss Brewster. Yes, and Granny. Edith, Jed tells me that according to uh, your husband, you want to take care of everything yourself when the baby comes. Oh, yes, I do. I've been reading books and going to classes and lectures, and I feel I'm ready for John Jr. John Jr. Want a boy, huh? Well, it's what John wants, so that's what we decided on. You decided? Yes, we're going to pick him up at 3 o'clock. Pick him up? At the Beverly Hills Baby Service. The Beverly Hills Baby Service? Yes, I thought you knew all about this. Honey, it ain't me that don't know. <laughs> Why don't you take your coat off and be comfortable? You and me got a lot to talk about. I, I don't really have much time. Darling, do you know what we forgot? The baby basket. You're right, we did. Baby basket? Yes, to put our boy in. We're going to go get him at 3 o'clock. Uh-huh. On that Beverly Hills baby service. That's right. Oh, John, I'm so excited. I can't believe the big moment is almost here. Uh, I know just how you feel, sweetheart. We've waited a long time for this day. Oh, yes. Well, come on, let's get the basket and go pick up the baby. Oh, I hope we won't have to stand in line. Well, we won't. All we have to do is give him the money. Hold it. Oh? Didn't you finish your advice to Edith? Didn't even get started. Oh, you better sit down. We haven't time for that now, Granny. No, no, we'll stop on our way home and show you John Jr. Bye. Goodbye, Granny. Uh, goodbye, Miss Clamid. Oh, see you later. So long.